Hello. Okay, The Hunger Games, the ballad of songbirds and snakes, based on the 2020 novel of the same name and a prequel to the original trilogy. It's based on a book that I didn't even know existed until I watched the trailer to this film. And I've never read any of these books, so I don't really have a strong as an emotional attachment to this franchise as a lot of other fans have. But... I did enjoy those previous movies. So, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is set 64 years before the events of the first film. Its plot follows the events that eventually lead to a young Coriolanus Snow on the path to becoming the tyrannical leader of Pan Am, including his relationship with the Hunger Games tribute Lucy Gray during the year of the 10th Hunger Games. So, I'm going to start off with talking about a scene within the first 10 to 15 minutes of this movie that really highlighted one of the major issues that I had with this experience that just continued throughout this entire film. It's about 2 hours and 45 minutes. And so what this scene does, which is the introduction to the character of Lucy Gray, and I just felt like we were missing about 5 to 10 minutes of character development. Like this first scene where we're introduced to the character of Lucy Gray, I felt like the scene was sort of telling us that we should already know who this character is. And it just left me, this entire scene just left me really confused and lost because I'm like, hang on a minute. I'm, I, I, I just ended up feeling like I was missing something. I was missing a moment with this character that maybe we should have already had before this particular scene. Because the way the scene plays out and sort of what we see the character do within this scene, I just felt like we were missing a massive chunk of character development. And I was just like, yeah, this film is kind of telling me at this point that I really should understand this character, but I don't. And this issue that I, I had this issue throughout the entire experience. And then it's this issue that I had with the narrative, with sort of how the narrative sort of flowed, really played into how I felt nothing really felt earned within this movie. So when it comes to characters' relationships and certain characters' motivations and what certain characters would do, nothing just felt earned and it all kind of lacked this very kind of natural natural connection to each other you know i really just didn't buy into this connection and this relationship between snow and lucy gray it felt so unnatural it felt forced and that would really kind of set my sort of how i would feel with this experience throughout the entire duration of this film like i just sat there watching a series of events unfold but I, I just, it, I could not connect to the journey on any sort of emotional level due to the fact that for me, nothing within this story when it comes to relationships and motivations and actions from the characters, just none of it felt earned to me because of how it was structured. Now, I've never read the novel in which this film is based on, but it felt like there was a lot of story crammed into what was already a lengthy runtime. And as a result, it felt very messy. And I think a lot of that is in the editing and just that kind of, you know, that feeling of missing massive chunks of character development. They, it just felt like to me they crammed a lot of story into what was already a very lengthy runtime and it was buckling under that pressure for me. But I really like this world. I really am intrigued and interested in this dystopian world that they've, they've created and how it's come to life on the screen. And I really enjoy that aspect of these films and this particular film, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I really like how they bring the world together, the aesthetic, the look. The cinematography in this film is beautiful. The film looks stunning. And I really dug the film from a technical perspective, even though I think there was perhaps a bit of an over-reliance on CGI in certain moments. I, I did dig the overall look of this film. I also really dug the performances within this movie as well. Tom Blythe, who plays our lead, the young Coriolanus Snow, 
does a great job at capturing the mannerisms of Donald Sutherland who played the same character in the original movies and I just found his performance to be very you know compelling and intriguing and just mesmerizing I think he did a really good job of bringing this character to life Viola Davis as this doctor who is it plays a part in implementing the Hunger Games. She's this evil, slimy, creepy character. And Viola Davis does a fantastic job at bringing this character to life. Like, she's clearly enjoying herself, and I just love what she was doing. Like, you, this is one moment where you can see she's just relishing in playing this character. And I just really liked what she was doing with the character. But... Unfortunately, it's her. It's she's one of the characters for me that also highlights this reoccurring issue that I had with the entire experience, and that's character development. As much as I loved with what Viola Davis was doing with this particular character, I just felt like it really lacked any sort of depth and meat, and I just didn't really understand the character. Like, yes, I get she's evil, and I fucking loved what she was doing, playing this evil motherfucker. Because, you know, Viola Davis just does a really good job at playing evil motherfuckers in anything she's in. But I just failed to really understand this character. So as much as I enjoyed the performance... I needed more. I needed to understand this character more. And again, you know, it's a reoccurring theme that I had throughout this entire experience. And I had the same issues with the character of Lucy Gray, who's played by Rachel Zegler. Like, nothing... I just didn't understand this character and her motivations. I felt like there were big chunks of this character's development just missing. But what also didn't help this for me was her performance. Like, I didn't mind her performance. It was okay. But there are moments with her character that it felt forced. Like, she was forcing this performance and it, it just became across a little bit unnatural for me which really didn't help how I, how I was already feeling towards this character because I just didn't understand it I just didn't understand the relationships the relationship between her character and Snow's character didn't feel earned because of that lack of development so her performance on top of that really didn't help how I was feeling towards this character. Another one of my issues with this film is how they handled those darker adult subject matters and themes that they're exploring within the story. It constantly felt like they were pulling back to retain this PG-13 or as it's, as it's here in the UK a 12A rating and it just felt very obvious and it felt like a watered down version of what we should have had with the type of story they were trying to tell. And that really bugged me because it really takes away from the grittiness and realism that, that I felt like this story really needed. Don't get me wrong, there are these moments throughout the film that are effective down to the way in which they're shot and are quite smart in how they were executed. But there are still moments that I feel like that just lacked punch. It's like Viola Davis's character, for example. I just felt like her character really lacked the impact that we needed to sort of really truly see how evil this character was because they were pulling back on sort of just wanting to retain that PG-13 rating. It's nothing to do with Viola Davis's performance. She is fantastic, but it's what we see of this character and what she's capable of doing just felt like they were pulling back and I wanted to see more of that grittiness and the harshness of the story but there are still moments within this film that are effective like this is one moment with this little girl that drinks this water and fuck it's tragic and sort of really hit me sort of emotionally but you could still sense that it would have been much more effective if the if they weren't constantly so obviously trying to pull back on that kind of more darker sort of adult side of the story so yeah one of my biggest frustrations with this movie was i just didn't feel like that i got the chance to really get to know these characters and understand these characters and their motivations and just their relationships as a result just didn't feel natural everything felt an earned which is quite surprising because of the length of this film it's a two hour and 45 minute movie and 
it's quite surprising how you know we sort of how I felt with this film in regards to not really sort of understanding or getting the time to know these characters because of the length of the movie. You know, there are there are large portions of this film that are scenes where we do really linger on certain moments, but it all just feels unearned. I do feel like that this particular film maybe caters more to those that have read the book, to those that haven't, like I haven't read the book, so I felt like my experience really suffered as a result of that, and I do feel like they handled the adaptations better. Like, I've never read the books, so I can't compare, but I feel like they handled the narrative an awful lot better in those original movies, in the previous movies, than they did with this particular one. There's a part of me that felt like maybe they really should have cut it into two films maybe I don't know because like I haven't read the book let me know if any of you guys have read the book felt the same thing or felt the same way even because that's how I felt when I was watching this film it felt like they'd crammed or they were attempting to cram so much into this already lengthy runtime like it just didn't quite work for me but with all that being said I didn't hate this movie. I quite enjoyed being in this world. I liked how they brought this world to life. Yes, I got minor issues with how they sort of utilised the CGI in certain moments. But just, I, I dug the look of the film. I thought the cinematography was beautiful. I dug the performances. There were a lot of elements to this film that did work for me. So I didn't hate this experience. It might sound like at first that I did. But no, it was bearable you could say and but I just felt like there was more to this film that was missing for me personally. For me personally I feel like this is a film that has that potential to grow on me over time. I feel. Hopefully it will. Um, but yeah that's how I feel about the latest Hunger Games movie and I will be giving the Hunger Games the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes a 6 out of 10. <laughs> So yeah, they are my thoughts on the latest Hunger Games film, but what did you guys think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you a fan of the novels? And is it a faithful adaptation? Do you agree with me that maybe it should have been split into two films? Then let me know below in the comments and let's get a discussion going. And if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to see future reviews from just some random Welsh geek rambling on, then please Hit that subscribe button, it will mean an awful lot to me. I'm hoping to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm currently on 194, so a big thank you to all those that have subscribed recently over the last couple of weeks. It means an awful lot to me. My next review will be for Thanksgiving. I'm really looking forward to checking it out. It has a kind of 90s slasher look to it. Really looking forward to checking that out. So yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll be catching you guys soon.